What's up guys, welcome back. It is four o'clock in the morning. We are just outside Sacramento on our way to Reno, Nevada and clear across Nevada and the Salt Flats of Utah. We just left Sutton's in Walnut Grove, California and it's about a nine and a half hour drive to Salt Lake City. So we're expecting between 10 and 12 basically with stops. We really wanna stop at a few spots between here and there uh, to get some photos and some video footage. I've done the drive out through there before. Uh, it's been about 10 years since I've been across the salt flats, but it's gonna be Corey's first time seeing him. So hopefully uh, we can get out there and it's not too, too brutally hot. Where do we put it? Over the three? facility in Lovelock. We know that because it's way out there. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. So we're on our way to Salt Lake City but we wanted to stop and get a bunch of like side road driving done to get some photos and yeah so far so good with the AC. AC is much cooler than it was on the drive up to Northern California so fingers crossed it stays cool and we stay cool. We are here in downtown Battle Mountain. If you're a Dance Gavin Dance fan, you know the album. We had to stop. We stopped for fuel anyway and got some food. Oh yeah. <laughs> we found a Dunkin' Donuts in the desert of Nevada. We're driving, <laughs> we're driving a VR6 swap cabrio that's really low static out onto the salt flats right now. And we just about ripped the VR lip off getting down into the salt flats. This is crazy. I've always wanted to do this. And what's hilarious is we're in Carl's cabrio. Like I wanted so badly to have like my Corvair out here or something cool, but instead, <laughs> something cool. <laughs> but instead we're in Carl's cabrio. We're in a dude canoe on the salt flats. <laughs> All right guys, we are out here on the Bonneville Salt Flats. This has been a dream of mine to 
to be out here with a car and like I said when we were pulling down here that it's just just fitting that I'm not out here with one of my own cars but I'm in someone else's car uh, but we're out here nonetheless and this has been a bucket list thing for me for my whole life basically and another thing was bringing my bike out here and I have done a couple tricks out here so far to warm up because nothing is flat and I've always wanted to shoot video or like a photo of me doing like a bunny hop bar spin or something out here on the salt flat so oddly enough I've got my bike and we might try to get a couple bar spin photos or something Thing is like static low pretty low too and what's annoying is it's lip low so we keep ripping the lip off all right sideways and then sideways again because there's kind of a crazy curb to get out of here this bronco did All right guys, we're here in Salt Lake City. Steve helped organize a meet for us here at the Fairmont Skate Park. Um, I was actually at the skate park in 2010 on Road Fools. We had come here for our last stop on the Road Fools trip, Road Fools 18. So I knew there was a big parking lot here and figured this would be the best spot to have some people get together in the area, but also spend some time on two wheelers since we went through so much effort to bring them out here. So we've got a pretty good group of people, actually more than I thought, I figured, Maybe just a few people that I knew personally would come out and that would be good enough. Uh, but pretty cool that a handful of people have come, have come out and may even show up later. It was pretty warm today. Sun's going down, starting to get cool. Uh, you guys have already seen what we went through on the drive here. Bonneville Salt Flats, uh, the AC is working better in the car. Um, it's really performing flawlessly. It's settled quite a bit. So it's sitting much lower than when we left Core Motive in Riverside, California. But it's not hitting anything underneath, so we're just kind of running it because it looks awesome low. Steve actually drove his Arteon from here in Salt Lake City all the way to Fort Myers, Florida in February for Eurotripper, which is pretty awesome. And on the way home, you hit that storm in Texas, you said, right? It basically shut it down, yeah. Couldn't even get through to Texas because the road was... Not good. Not good at all. So he's here in the Arteon. That's a really sweet car. That's static as well. And uh, yeah, it's really cool to see people doing more of these like big effort, long trips. All right, so we're finishing the night up here at the park. A few skateboarders, a couple of us on bikes, a couple of us just hanging out. Corey got a flat, so he didn't have a chance to ride, unfortunately. Bummer. Yeah, we'll get a tube. We'll try to ride in Denver, hopefully, if we get there early tomorrow. Um, skater's doing some tricks. What up? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, so we just kind of hung out here after the meet, so it was a perfect spot to have it because it's got a big parking lot and the park has lights. Uh, but that's about it. We booked a hotel just outside town on our way towards Colorado, so we'll kind of have a 30-minute head start for the morning. That'll do it here in Salt Lake. Super massive thank you to everybody coming out, to the boys here, and um, hopefully we'll be back soon. We might be back in a couple months. Who knows? Coming through, so we shall see.